at exactly 7 p.m. every Friday. It is Health Pot. Health Pot is a program brought to you by Makere University School of Public Health. And we basically look at maternal health, early childhood development, and other public health concerns. And uh, last week, in the Health Pot episode, they broke for us some of the public health concerns like water and sanitation, hygiene, so there are a lot. So you might be asking yourself, what are some of these, what are these pu other public health concerns? Some of those other public health concerns are those ones that were highlighted, but of course we shall look at more and more as we move on. All you need to do is to keep your eyes on Health Pod, Church of Uganda Family TV. Edwin Austin Mukalaz is my name, and I welcome you today's show. Last week we had an amazing team from Ray United FC. That was Ray, who is the founder, and um, uh, and uh, Penina, who is the country director of Ray United FC. They shared with us a lot of things, and we promised to bring you some of the beneficiaries of this project because we know that they are running a campaign or a program which is called the Youth Public Health Ambassadors Program. So. Today we are blessed to have some of the beneficiaries of this program. They have been part of the program and I would say they have graduated <laughs> to go and, and impart the communities. We are delighted to have uh, Danish Okello and Emily. So um, I'm seated with ambassadors, youth ambassadors. Wow, this is so amazing. And they have come all the way from Lila. Wow, it's here anymore. Ah, yeah. Emily, it's here anymore. Hey, because we want we want you people in Lida to feel comfortable. Yeah? We are with people from Lida. <laughs> kindly, uh, Danish, kindly greet our viewers, and then we shall go into what we are going to talk about today. I, as is stated, I'm called Kelo Dennis, Youth Public Health Ambassador. Working with Ray United, which is partnering, partnering with CCI, which is Children Chance International. And we are very happy for this program that is going ahead tonight. And I think you're going to know more about it. Keep listening. Uh, Emily, yes. Aoko. Yeah, kindly greet our viewers, and in a special way, you also give us a greeting in our native language. Eh? Yeah, I know we shall confuse some someone in the studio, but it is okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, everyone listening to Family TV. I'm called Emily Aoko. I use public health ambassador, working with Ray United FC, together with Children Chance International. I'm very glad to share with you and to be with you tonight. Thank you very much. Now, in, 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 in our language, say all that introduction in our language. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, someone's scared. It is okay. It is okay. So, we have our ambassadors who are going to share with us their experiences. Um, they are the beneficiaries of the Youth Public Health Ambassadors Program, but then they will share with us their experiences, how they feel and how they are ready to impact communities with our uh, right back in Lida. So, Danish, I'll start with you. Hmm. Um, first of all, how did you join uh, Ray, Ray United FC? Okay. For me, I joined the United FC on January last year. That is 2021. 2021, yes. I joined the United and I started working, voluntary. And right now that I'm talking, I'm still working with Ray United. And I'm volunteering to improve health all over the community. That is our local community. And we're working together in order to improve the health of our community. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you've talked about joining Ray International in 
January last year. How did you join and what are some of the some of the processes you went through? Did you have any training before they now uh, released you to go out and impact communities? Okay. You know, joining a big organization like this, mm. it's not an easy thing. Mm. The way I joined this organization, we passed through a bit of a interview where they interviewed us and we are selected for those who were able to speak well and fluently in front of a large number of people, they were selected and they were registered as ambassadors who are going to work with Reunited FC. Okay. So at the time you've been, it is close to a year and a half, at the time you've been with Ray International, uh, Ray United FC, what are some of the things you're proud of are working with Ray? Okay. I've learned a lot from this organization. Before, before I've joined this organization, um, I don't feel the same to say this. I was not able to speak in front of a large number of people. But the moment I joined this organization called Ray United FC, I'm now able to speak in front of a large number of people without fear because of the guidance they have been teaching us with. Like uh, over public health, they have been teaching us with public health and how to stand in front of large people, large number of people. And we are so, so happy to get that knowledge of speaking in front of large people. And right now that I'm talking, I'm now very strong and enough with the skills that I can teach the people in the local community with the skill I gained from Ray United FC. And I want to thank this Ray United FC because in uh, this is like uh, cancer. Our local people, they were suffering a lot because they were having less skill about this disease that are dangerous to human beings. And like cancer has to give, give us an example. We have learned a lot, and from cancer there, we have gone through and uh, they taught us how we can know if this one is cancer or not, like uh, the sign and symptoms. Okay. If you are having cancer, how you can know it, okay. like the local people, how they can know it in a local way, like, uh, let me give an example. If you know, if you want to check if you are having a breast cancer, that is for women, mm. you use your hand, and then you sprinkle this uh, your breast. If you're feeling something there like a stone, you should not uh, say it is cancer. But the knowledge we got from this organization, they say you first go to the health center, and after there they transfer you. To maybe the referral hospital. That is and if you have cancer. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is so interesting. And uh, I'm glad Ray United FC exists. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, Emily, back to you. Who doesn't want to speak our language? But it is okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to try. <laughs> no, it is fine. It is fine. fine. So, um, what, um, what are some of the things? Oh, okay. Maybe before we go to your experience uh, staying with Ray United FC. What are uh, how did you how did you join Ray FC? In which year did you join? Okay, thank you very much. Mm. I joined Ray United through CCI mm. Uganda, or Children Chance International Uganda, because they were they were they were the one who went up to our village to conduct recruitment. So, um, the time you've been with Ray United FC, what are some of the things you're proud of? Yeah, I'm proud of, of in fact, I learned a lot. Mm. For, 
the first one I learned is before I joined reunited program because we had many we had many programs or workshops before I joined or I had the workshops that we undergone through I never know anything concerning making re reusable sanitary pads so this organization came in then they teach us how to make a reusable sanitary pads and how to use it how to make it yeah wow this is so interesting and um these handicrafts goes to go to the tutors and uh, founders of Ray International, Ray United FC. So um, as we close up uh, with you, um, can you send some regards to the people out there, especially the people of Lida? Please, I can request you, Danish, <laughs> use our language yeah? okay. uh, to send regards to them. Yes, yeah, send some greetings to the people who are watching you. Okay. Let me use your language that you know best, that is Lango. Opo yu nuluwa kudushu, maiti winyuwa, nyuti nenuwa, nene kuchia watani. And, abime maiti ya loke duni ya batin wu, ame gumu pori koma, miyariko bi gumu, pia nangeo ujoni nga wakana ishi onien, pobodo gina yot, ya polo mira upo nungi kare. Hento piki sabaha. Why hain put up Bino joining joining organization ni the other ticket ye hangeoni a bed a bear ye nyim pin cut a ticket organization me ya la America twelve meo jam do some meta community a tung car kita me meta a poy one a poy a poy Emily I kindly send your last regards and greetings to the people who are watching you my language? Yes, use, use that language. I have a point in my tag, you have to say, 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 Ah, wow. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is part of the team. But we have another amazing team. Uh, that is Okelo Moses and Ongom, Salome Precious. A poor all of you who are watching us from Lida, but of course, uh, plus all of you who are watching us from wherever you're watching us, in Uganda and out of Uganda. We are glad you're watching HealthPort. HealthPort is brought to you by Makere Universal School of Public Health, together with Church of Uganda Family TV. And we basically look at early childhood development, maternal health, and other public health concerns. Today, we have another special episode of health pot where we have the beneficiaries of the youth public health ambassadors program sharing with us their experiences this is a team from Lida, and that is where you hear some of us who speak, who can speak langi speaking the language you're not like jonah jar who is out of place already but uh the people seated with me now are okelo moses at the extreme end and Amom. Salome Precious. Wow, the name Precious sounds good. And we are glad we have you today. Kind of greet our viewers and then we continue. Okay. Greetings to you, to the people who are watching us live in the family television. Okay. Hi, I'm Angam Salme Precious, Youth Public Health Ambassador. Wow. Moses, kind of greet our viewers. Hi everyone, greeting goes to everyone who is listening to us or who is watching us live on the family television. I'm uh, Mokelo Moses, the youth public health ambassador from Lera district. And now I'll greet you in our, our language. Tieningo. 
Wow, so um ladies first, eh? So Moses and I start with uh, precious, don't feel bad. Ladies first. So uh precious. I uh, want you to share with us uh, your experience being part of Ray United FC and uh, how you are ready to benefit the community where you come from. Okay. Mm. The experience that I have, mm. we went, you know, we went through a lot when we went to the training for these youth public health ambassadors. So the the experience I gained from there, I when I was there in my community, I could not just stand in front of large people and talk to people, but at le but now at least I can speak to everyone, wherever wherever president is there, I can also stand in front of him and at least say something to them. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. So what are some of the other things that you you learned? out of the trainings and you're ready to implement in your community? Okay, the things that I learned from the training, they taught us with so many things. And those things was like, they taught us how we can make our environment clean, that it's under wash. And that under wash, it's water, hygiene and sanitation. So for that matter, they taught us how we can make how we can make our 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 environment clean. So in that process, we also tried our best. We ambassadors and went back in the village after the training, and we also taught taught the the community how to make the environment clean and their personal hygiene, plus our water, like you know, in the villages. Mm -hmm. Or in the community there, we have wells, we have bar holes. So for that matter, we can even go and teach our community how to make the environment just clean. So by then, we taught them how to make a tippy tap for that. That tippy tap, we, 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 we were being trained with. That it tip it up, we can go and put, tell tell the community to go and at least put it when whenever anyone is going as your visitor should must go and wash his or her hands and enter in your place. Then after we also taught them like they have to put even that tip it up near the lantern so that when they enter in the lantern after they can come and wash their hands. Wow, and these are things that are uh, really missing in our communities. Thank you so much, and how I pray you keep on sensitizing the community to do this. Wow, Moses, yes, please. what is your experience working with um, Ray United FC? Okay, all right, Mr. Hawa Morita. As I have mentioned my name at the beginning, I'm Okelo Moses, the East Public Health Ambassador from Lera. Um, First and foremost, I first want to enlighten everyone who is watching us live on on family television how we we entered into this organization we are calling it the Ray FC United. Mm. Uh, at the beginning, we first begin by going through the the training. We had the interview of which we were being coordinated with the Children's Chance International. Together we had the training and from there we were being recruited at our first, of which we were still unskilled by them. We were not in position of knowing more about the, the public health. And then after we went, uh, we went through the training or the workshop, then from there we were being taught with the issue to deal with the public health. And then from there, we were in position, from there we were taught with the issue to deal with the vector borne disease, how they spread from one person to another, and how best we can control. And then, by then, we went back to the community, because you know, at the local community there, people, they, I could say that most of our parents they are uneducated. 
So I could say that they, they were lacking knowledge concerning this vector bone disease and how best they could control it. But after the training, we went back there and we were in position of training them how we can control the vector bone disease like the malaria. Then, of course, we sensitized them and we taught them the causes of the malaria, how best we can control this malaria. And together, uh, the Ray FC United, together with the Children Chance International, they have also worked so tirelessly that to ensure that they have distributed the mosquito nets to the community members. And from then, we were in position of giving these mosquito nets to the community members. And as I talk now, we have tried with all our level best to ensure that at least we try to reduce the rate of the, the cases of the malaria disease in the community. And then secondly, we were also being taught with the issue concerning the H, the sexual transmitted disease like the HIV AIDS. And then from there, we were being, we had to be in position of knowing more about this disease, we are calling it the HIV AIDS. And we went back to the community there, we sensitized the youth. Because, you know, we as the youth at times, we do used to feel very sad in the community. We as the youth, we can't just go to the hospital and we narrate our stories to the L specialist. But we were in position of interacting with the youth how to control this HIV, AIDS, all these other sexual transmitted diseases. Cause you may get to know that there are some youth whom they could be, the whom they can be suffering, suffering in this disease, the, the sexual transmitted disease, mm. but they do used to feel ashamed of telling the elders. But we as the public health ambassadors, we can be in position of interacting with our health wow. And then lastly, we were in position, we were taught on how to collect the data mm -hmm. from the community. And we were being well equipped with all the necessary requirements, like the tablets, where we can enter our data into. And we were being given the bus calls where we can write to the households, to the next household, to ease the collection of the data. Then from there, we were in position of collecting the data from the school facilities, hospital facilities, air facilities, and uh, community, household questionnaires. Then from there, we managed to get the possible data that can help the, the, our stakeholders to plan and get the necessary resources for our community members. Wow, this is so interesting. And I believe that you people are resourceful in your communities. And please don't give up. Eh? Keep the vibe, keep the vibe and uh, motivate more and more young people to join in. I believe when we all work together, there will be a time when Uganda will be the best place to be yeah. and leader will be one of the best places to be because of you, the ambassadors. So, <laughs> precious, as we wind up, I kindly send your greetings to the people who are watching you. Okay, let me send all my regards to our director, Kenneth CCI, and, and the community volunteer, that is Obwana Jimmy, and I would like also to greet Penny, plus our youth public ambassadors who are not even around here. And finally, let me also greet my mama, Alice. Thanks. Um, greet mama, Alice, in our native language. <laughs> <laughs> um, mama, Alice, I'm more to talk to you and I'm to life with you TV. I'm poor, mama, Alice, I'm poor. Moses, I kindly send your last regards and greetings to the people who have been watching you. Okay, let me take this wonderful time granted to me now to send my regards to all the Ray FC team together with our 
country executive director CCI plus the team in the office and our community volunteer that is Sobwana Jimmy and all the ambassadors whom they are, we have left them outside there plus all the parents to the ambassadors and I also... Can you greet the parents the ambassadors in our native language? Opoye that wala nyuala abula me yele me na na ne Oyo wogene, yo leo me pashu, kin pasha me ojala gene me tiker, yo me rei. I mean, no more to ataha ataha, wanu ti ne wo, to wanu ti ne wo me jala wa wuno, me ti yu, ti me jala le me ne na ne oyo wo, leo me shi pasha wa, obeda be, I mean, to no more to ataha ataha, to mo to take one do me standardize school, kere teacher wa me oduani achan monita. Apoe, apoe, apoe. Thank you so much for watching Carefoot. I believe you as a young person, this has been an inspiration to you. What have you done to your community? You can also do something to transform that community. Edwin Austin Mukalas is my name. This is Healthport, brought to you by Makere University School of Public Health. May the Almighty God bless you. Jonah Jazz, my producer, and Bantam have been right there working tirelessly to see that you have that big that that are beautiful image on your screen god bless you good day